Welcome to another interview from the Lenrock blog. My name is Jan DeRoos from Cornell University. We're at the first annual independent lodging contracts at the beautiful Rittenhouse Hotel in Philadelphia. Today we're joined by Neil Shaw of Hersha Hospitality Trust. Neil is president, chief operating officer of Hersha Hospitality Trust, where he leads the company's hotel acquisitions, development, and asset management platforms. Mr. Shaw has been instrumental in the acquisition and management of over $2 billion worth of hotel real estate in major hospitality markets. Mr. Shaw holds degrees from the University of Pennsylvania, uh, their Wharton School, and holds an MBA from the Harvard Business School. So let's turn to our questions. Neil, over the last year or so, have you seen conditions in the lodging sector change? And if they have, are they for the better or for the worse? You know, they, they have changed. I think coming back from, I'm going to take a few steps back from this year to kind of the, this, this great um, recession and the, um, how hard this industry was hit back in 2008 and 2009. And since then, there's been a pretty steady recovery. Uh, year over year, whether it was 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013 has continued that recovery back to um, prior peak performance. I think this year we've seen some markets actually get to RevPAR levels higher than the previous peak, back to 2007, 2008. And so in that way, um, we've seen kind of a full recovery take hold in some markets. There remains a lot of markets, though, still um, in the major kind of top 20 markets, I think there's still about eight or 10 markets that are still um, performing below where they did in 2007, 2008. And so there, this recovery is continuing. It is as slow as everyone speaks about. Um, it's as um, in lodging, we are we're a GDP focused uh, kind of um, business, and and it will take several more years for the industry to truly recover. This year in particular, um, there's been, you know, there was a lot of um, hope at the start of this year that the group business market would really begin to recover at a greater pace than it has so far. And that has been choppy. Um, partly, I think, in anticipation of the government budget issues and then the sequestration, there's been a significant impact on government groups and government business, but I think that's also filtered out not only to uh, contractors and healthcare, but to a lot of other industries. So um, conditions um, as we got into the fall were worse than expected, um, but we do believe that in the fundamental picture, we are in recovery and that recovery is going to continue. Very good. How is uh